Peggy 18. Music is a very important part of Kingdom Come Deliverance. There is going to be a lot of music. Live medieval folk, hours of adaptive orchestra music that seamlessly adjusts to how you play, and one and a half hours of symphonic orchestra, which was one of our key starter stretch goals. At the beginning, I wanted something that would correspond with the historical setting of the game. Something that would sound a little bit melancholic and archaic, with strong melodies, more Williams than Zimmer, and I also wanted to achieve the distinctive bohemian mood of famous Czech classical composers like Smetana and Dvořák, or the awesome Czech new wave movie score composers of the 60s like Liška or Fischer, because that's the sound of my childhood. In our game we have uh, in-game tracks of orchestral music, we have chamber music performed by period instruments, we have a small men's choir, and there's gonna be uh, live recorded uh, cutscenes with a big symphony orchestra. And what you need is to incorporate all these types of music into one homogeneous uh, soundtrack. For making of uh, the in-game music, uh, we always started with a design meeting, uh, just the two of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for hours we will be talking about different features of our music and how different parts should link to each other and how they should be structured. After we came up with uh, such a design, I usually composed some demo music on which we tested that feature. But uh, of course I also sent it to Daniel as a simple music track, asking him whether he likes it or not. Of course, many games have adaptive music. It's a standard thing to have these days in the industry. Uh, that, you, know, you, you have different parts of, of the music responding to different events in the game. And we have been focusing on having nice transitions between those parts of music. Our goal is to maintain the natural flow of rhythm, harmonies and melodic phrases. Our exploration music is organized a bit like a railway system. Every now and then, along the track, there is a switch or a branch, by means of which it is possible to go seamlessly from the track we currently play to the one we need because the location changed or the situation changed. At this point we were leaving uh, the village and uh, we entered the open landscape. And now let's hear how we would get from there on the ground. For action music, we have a different approach. The transition to combat needs to be much faster. So uh, we start with the sound of the suspended symbol to build up the tension. And then we schedule the beginning of the combat music at the first beat of the next bar. We have different music for fist fight, different music for armed combat. And of course, the playback reflects the state of the combat, especially whether the player is winning or losing. For exploration music, we have a simpler rule. The more ancient the location, the more ancient the music. For example, uh, nature looks rather timeless. So there we can dare quite a modern symphonic soundtrack. On the other hand, if you happen to be in the monastery, you really feel kind of a stuck in the old times there. And therefore, there is no orchestra, no other instruments, just a small uh, man's choir 
singing a simple Gregorian chant, just as the monks would do. What you see behind me is the Dvořák Hall of Prague's Rudolfinum, which is also called uh, House of the Artists. It's a wonderful building which was built somewhere in the end of the 19th century. And uh, we are recording here because, according to me, this is the best concert hall in the world. And uh, so far we have finished the first session, which lasts for four hours. We have made some music, we have still a lot of things to do. But I have to say, so far my impression is really very good because the musicians are excellent and they have a wonderful attitude. They just want to give it and I want to give it too. So I think it will be really wonderful recording. So when I was coming here today, I was quite nervous because so far I've heard only two types of music. Uh, either one that was very well produced, uh, but entirely from samples that we used in alphas, betas and trailers, and it sounded pretty well, so I kind of doubt it if this is worth it, because it's very expensive and a lot of work. And the other type of music was uh, the music for the cutscenes that I only heard on spotting sessions with Jan. Uh, it was done in MIDI, which was totally shitty quality, because we didn't have time to produce it better. And when I was listening to it, I was sometimes like, oops, uh, I just hope that it's going to be sounding well when it's played by orchestra, because now it's kind of weird. And I have to say that I'm totally blown away. It's, it's definitely much better than samples. And the stuff that, uh, that sounded a little bit weird uh, in MIDI is now awesome. If the everything else will fail, I guess like the game is going to suck and everything, uh, we at least will have great music. <laughs> this is the quality in which we played it uh, for Dan during our spotting sessions. It's just general MIDI. And now comes the real stuff from the Rolfing. <laughs> 